I'm in Denver, Colorado, and uh, guess what? It's database time. And this time it's on a vision jet. And uh, I'm getting ready for a flight tomorrow to Knoxville, Tennessee from Denver. And um, the database is out of date. The cycle just switched over. So excited to finally put a video together. We're showing you how to step-by-step -step get the databases updated on a vision jet. It's a step-by-step -step guide so that you feel good and confident on how to update your databases. I know these things are a little tricky and finicky and it always seems to change, but hopefully you can use this and you find it helpful. I appreciate everyone's comments and, and likes and subscribes. You know, it's really fun reading it. I know I've been a little slow and idle on the channel here lately. I've got some really cool things coming on. You'll see me in a much different weather profile uh, coming up and maybe a little bit tanner, hopefully. Got to get some SPF 50 for this receding hair line of mine but uh, anyway enjoy this let's go out to the hangar uh, but before we do that we got to get the databases on the card so let's go do that then we'll go to the hangar we've got a really cool office here at the Denver Centennial Airport Denver Jet you know you can come in here sit down enjoy we've got great coffee that we're going and uh, look at the little vision jet model here and uh, I'm going to walk you through step by step here in the lounge on uh, on the computer real quick on what databases that we need to do. We're going to be doing this via the SD card. And I just want to be clear that this is for the Generation 2 and the G2 Plus going forward because this is for the Perspective Touch Plus avionics that came out in G2 Plus and, and, and beyond. So let's take a look at the equipment and uh, let's get rolling. Great, we're ready to roll here, and uh, we're going to use the Jepson Distribution Manager, and like I was saying, that we're going to use this via the SD card, and this is a 16 gigabyte card. I actually subscribe to these things on Amazon, um, and uh, I buy them in bulks of five or ten packs. I'm always handing these things out. You never know when they when you need one. Um, these. These 16 gigs or less are, I think it's important because there, there were some sizing issues on the, the style of cart. But these are just a regular blank SD card you can get on Amazon. Like I said, I subscribe to them, renew every uh, four to six months. I'll get five of them shipped off because they break, they get lost, and uh, they make great gifts. So um, this is a MacBook a little USB, uh, USB-C adapter for sort of multi-port. So we're going to use the SD function down there. So let's go ahead and get this plugged in. And I'm going to get logged into our Jepson distribution manager right here. So what we're going to do is, uh, so this is uh, on your uh, Jepson distribution manager account. You're going to see a lot less info here. This is for um, all of our fleet of airplanes at Cirrus. But... Here we go. So the Garmin 3000 nav data. There's Americas, International, and Transatlantic. Uh, we also have airport directory, obstacles, safe taxi, and electronic charts. So <clears throat> let's see here. We need to do, uh, we're going to start here with the nav data. So I'm going to take the card and uh, plug it into the computer here. So we've got that. That should be all in. And I'm going to come over here and say to the Nav Americas, since I'm flying domestically in the United States, I'm going to say transfer to device. This right here, no name, is the name of the card, the SD card that I had. So I'm going to hit continue and upload and transfer those. Those are great. You know, the thing to make this go a little bit easier and quicker is I actually downloaded these to the hard drive already. So if you are at Wi-Fi and you haven't downloaded these, um, I didn't know where I was going to be, if I was going to be in a hangar um, and want to keep these on the hard drive. This would be a great place to download. Uh, that way, if you don't have access to a hard, uh, Wi-Fi, you wouldn't... Um, be able to download these at, at your plane. So it's already on the hard drive. And uh, if um, if you're at a place and you could just hit this transfer to device and it will download it, then transfer it. So pretty easy. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is the airport directory. <clears throat> um, this one looks like it's a current database, but we're going to just double check and throw it on there. I'm going to put all of these on here. Uh, there we go. So we've got that on the card, which is great. Uh, let's see, obstacles. We're going to add those. Perfect. Excellent. All right, so we've got three databases on the card. We're going to come over here to add safe taxi. 
and continue. That's gonna go pretty quick. Perfect. And once that one is done, we are gonna go ahead and this one takes a little bit longer. So uh, the last thing that's needed is the actual charts. So the electronic charts. Got to issue these, these came out today. So I'm gonna hit close all to that and then transfer these to the device. Uh, no name and here we go. So this usually takes a little bit longer for them uh, because this is a much bigger file. Usually it's somewhere in the, the nature of 800 megabytes to a gig. So it takes a second to transfer. So I'm gonna stop here and come back to you once it's all done. All right, that wasn't too bad at all. So we've got uh, the electronic charts elect, uh, successfully transferred there. And I can see all the databases up here uh, that are on. So we've got our electronic charts. So we've got all five databases that we'll need. Now it is time to have a sip of coffee and uh, go out to the hangar to update the vision jets. All right, here we go. I really like using a start pack, and uh, mainly just to keep the batteries on and the external power on while we are updating the databases. It's really easy to use, it's easy to set up. I actually fly around with this all the time in a 100 foot extension cord here that uh, you can easily plug in. And uh, what I don't have to rush the process of updating the databases using this because I'm trying to conserve battery power, so if I'm out somewhere where I need to do a battery start, um, and, and I don't have to run the risk of running the batteries down here right now um, and uh, then getting the, the en engine start volts cast message and then maybe there's not a power adapter or, or a ground power unit to get the airplane started. So it helps save battery power, but most importantly, I can stay relaxed and not have to rush the process of updating the databases. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is double check this card. So I'm going to pull the PFD bottom card out. That's our supplemental card. And right here, this is an actual Garmin card. And um, what I'm going to do is load it into the system or into my computer. And I'm going to double check. Um, I'm going to go ahead and remove all of these files right here, except the eDoc file. And what that's going to do is just make sure that we have everything is, uh, is, is, clean and sanitized um, so we don't end up going into a database sync error. So we're gonna get rid of all these files. I'm not gonna actually save them in case we need them, but uh, the only thing that's gonna be remaining is this eDoc file. So let me show you what that looks like. So I've got everything removed except for the eDoc file, and uh, this should help make sure that we don't get a database sync error. So that's what the first thing I'm gonna to try to do is uh, make sure that this is cleaned and sanitized so that way uh, we're good to go. So let me get the next thing set up. So here we are, we just have the eDoc folder here and uh, we're good to go. I'm gonna eject this card by, uh, from the computer and I'm gonna come down here, safe to remove. So I'm gonna go ahead and close up the computer and re-put the uh, supplemental PFD card into the bottom slot of the PFD, perfect. Next thing I'm gonna do is come over here and take out the top card, and I'm just gonna remove the bottom card for right now. This is I've just it's a habit that I've gotten into, removing those two so that the, these slots are empty. But I'm gonna come down here and grab our card with all of our databases on, and put that into the top slot, and we're in a good spot where we can go ahead and start firing up our avionics and batteries. So as we're starting to get this here, you can see that um, we are getting our two databases, the ones that we knew, the nav and the chart view, the other things like safe taxi, obstacles and uh, the airport directory are still good. So it's updating those files right now and uh, we'll go take a look at them here in just a second. <clears throat> okay, so if we come over here to our initialization screen, everything is still updating here. So you can see there's a database sync in progress. We have our sync complete with the navigation. That's a small file, it takes, it goes pretty quick. And the other one, oops, excuse me, uh, was chart view, and that is syncing right now. So it's three minutes, you know, I found that this thing goes by super fast. You can see the time melting off there. 
but we're in a good spot where everything should be synced up here momentarily, and then we can um, actually uh, swap the databases. So once this is all completed, we'll go on to the next step. You can see that time just sort of come off pretty quick as it goes through. Sometimes, don't be alarmed if you see like 30, 40 minutes, it will automatically sort of go jump from 30, 40 minutes all the way down to like two minutes and uh, everything should be good. But I've got a good feeling that this time is holding and uh, by the time that's all said and done, we're gonna be in a great spot. Look at that, we got GPS signal inside of the hangar, which is really cool. less than five seconds to go there it goes so everything looks like it was synced and here we go we can go to our next step great so once we see this double blue arrow this means that this database is ready to go from our standby to our active database same thing down here and the thing that we can do in order to do that is says databases are out of date, activate uh, 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 with ground restart. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and power off our avionics and just give it a good couple seconds here and then we'll be ready to fire back up. All right, I always give the airplane at least a minute before I restart. There's some internal cache that needs to clear out with the with lack of battery so i'm going to go ahead and restart our battery two and battery one and we'll be able to see this so we've already uh updated our files so everything is being skipped here which is good we're initializing the databases are transferring over uh to the pfd which is great and uh if we come over here we're going to start to see that we've successfully updated the databases so we're gonna let the computer and the, everything run uh, and read everything, but you can see our old database has moved over to our standby, and now our active database is the current one. So the only two databases that were actually out of date were the, ch uh, uh, the chart view, which were the JEP, JEP charts, and um, also uh, the nav. You can see that our airport directory and our um, obstacles and safe taxis they don't expire till the end of the month here in January so we're in a good spot everything's been successfully updated and uh, we're feeling good and ready to go to um, Knoxville tomorrow all right so I just powered everything down and I'm gonna go ahead and re, re uh, pull my chips and put everything back together so here is our database card this is the one that we put everything on I'm gonna go ahead and put that down here um, here was our flight stream 510 card and I'm going to put that right back in the uh, MFD lower spot and then our blank SD card I'm going to put right on the top slot and just for good measure I'm going to make sure that everything works well so I'm going to do one last power up and make sure that everything is synced appropriately so just as we get things going if you can hear that through the headset here that's a little static electricity as you start putting the Put, uh, turning everything on and uh, coming through the headsets and as the avionics and the intercom comes through that goes away so here we are and uh, there's our autopilot check and alarm I'm gonna come on over to our database status again and we're gonna see this um, we have a good database update and all that and the other thing that's really important is that we do not see a database sync. So you would see the database sync all the way to 100% and then restart, and then you'd be in this database uh, syncing loop. The, remember, the reason why we cleared this card of everything with the eDoc is so that we don't have to, um, it, it get, gets rid of the database um, uh, uh, sync error or the, the kind of the loop. And that could cause different issues down the road, so I'm glad we're here. Everything looks good. I'm feeling super fantastic here um, in the Vision Jet. I know these databases are so finicky sometimes, but this one, this is pretty simple once you get the hang of it, and uh, this goes by pretty darn quick. 
Thanks so much for joining me on this one. I really love these database uh, tips and tricks. There have been so many people that have helped me in the past, and I really hope that this video helps you. And, um, you know, have fun out there flying your vision jet. I've just cracked over about 100 hours in the jet, and it is awesome. I've really leaned on my SR experience in order to help make a smooth transition. And once you start to gain some repetitions and all that, this thing fits like a glove. It's a lot of fun. Um, so anyway, if you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing and giving it a like. Uh, it really helps the channel out. I really love comments. So if there's something that you saw in this video that you would do differently, let me know. Let others know. It's very helpful. So until next time, enjoy and always fly with good updated databases. Thanks so much for being in the hangar with me and, and, and up, helping update the databases here. It's been really fun putting these together. These tips and tricks are so valuable. I've learned a lot from the community as well as other people in the industry that have helped me. And uh, hopefully these videos really help you. Uh, you're gonna absolutely love and enjoy flying the Vision Jet. It is so cool. I've got just about 100 hours of flying around now and it is uh, an absolute blast. Starting to feel like a, a, a worn in baseball glove, a nice feeling. So anyway, if you found this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel and liking this video. It really helps things out. It shares it with others. I've started to get to meet a lot of you guys out there at different events. And it I would just so appreciate when somebody makes a, a mention of, uh, of watching the YouTube video. It's so cool. Um, it's just so nice to know that the videos are getting out there and helping people. So thanks so much for that feedback. It really it really means a lot. So anyway, take care. Happy New Year, and uh, we'll see you soon.